So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel I hope you guys are doing great and today's video I'm going to talk about how you can do a basic product lighting using the blender. Alright guys so in this video we'll just create uh, some scene here which is uh, here you can see we have a one uh, uh, scene here there are some props there is, a, there is one bed and there are some uh, like cosmetics items also but uh, we'll just create a uh, some tight crop shot and we'll just add another prop and we'll just create a good lighting for this so let's begin this video but before starting the video guys i just want to uh, wish you to all of you a very happy new year from me from my family and from the deeper graphic team i just want to tell to all of you thank you to being part of the deeper graphic we'll just achieve our goals together in this new year also so thank you guys let's begin the tutorial here you can see guys we have a little scene here there are some props like we have a bed we have a, some drawer we have some tables here okay i just want to create some tight camera shot here so for that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take this part here okay and we'll just add camera here okay so for adding the camera what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna press the control alt zero and the scene will be become a camera angle now i'm just gonna unlock my camera first so we can just move are seen within this camera yeah i think look that's so great and i'm just gonna change the first of all the focal length of our camera i'm just gonna keep it like 150 something yeah this is good for a close tight shot yeah i think this look great all right guys this is look nice to me now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna uh increase this so we can see only the camera view all right so this camera view look nice to me now i'm just gonna split this window first of all so from this side it will be camera view and here we are doing a lighting so that guys so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna uh, add my 3d cursor here pressing the shift and right click yeah and now i'm just gonna add some prop here so i'm just gonna search some prop like i'm just gonna add some toy here yeah toys i'm just gonna search it and there is lots of toys so like I just want to add uh, one toy from the blender kit like what we can add yeah I think this look nice yeah we can add this one by the way okay so I'm just gonna click it and this gonna add here yeah that's look great I'm just gonna scale this because this is a tight scene so that prop will be a little bigger yeah i think this look nice okay so that's look great by the way now i'm just gonna switch this scene into the uh render mode yeah that's look great so first of all i'm just gonna add one sdra into this scene because we need some supporting light first of all so i'm just gonna add one environment texture i'm just gonna open it and i have already downloaded one sdra from the sdra heaven you can also download from there because there are lots of free sdra yeah so i have that studio small 094 k sdr i'm just going to open it yeah that's look great all right but this is not enough for the good lighting so now what we have to do we have to just strength down zero this sdra first of all now we'll just add some manual lighting manual lighting in the sense like we'll add some spotlight all right I'm just going to add a spotlight. I'm just going to scale it first of all. Yeah, I think this looks great. I'm just going to keep it here. And I'll just rotate this spotlight and keep it here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to increase the strength. Oh, this is too much by the way, but it's okay. Uh, first of all. Yeah, I think 2000 is look nice to me and first of all we'll just rid of this uh, hard shadows so for that I'm just gonna increase the radius so these will be become a very soft and I'm just gonna duplicate gonna rotate it and keep it here and we'll just change the strength a little bit and we'll also increase the radius of this also all right right now here you can see that light looks little unrealistic i know that but it's okay 
because we need to work on it so for that now what i'm going to do i'm just going to increase the strength of this sdri 0 0.5 yeah now it's working it's going with the scene okay so first of all we'll just add a uh, depth of field because uh, which is gonna enhance this whole scene like i'm just gonna add depth of field yeah i think this look nice it is creating little uh a realism so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do a little bit move ahead yeah this look great all right guys here you can see this is almost almost look nice to me now just uh, decrease little bit blurness of this depth of field because it is uh, too much by the way so i'm just gonna little decrease yeah i think this look nice yeah i think this is look nice to me okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add uh, one area light and uh yeah and i'm just gonna yes i think this is look nice keep it here yeah i think this look great all right guys so now here you can see guys our scene is ready but still we need to add some contrast into our scene now the question is that from where we can add the contrast into our scene yeah so for that what we need to do we have to just go to the our uh, render properties we have to scroll it down here is an option it's called color management so here you can see that display device is like srgb that is great view transform is filmic also great but here is a option it's called look which is gonna change the whole look of this render so we need to change the look as a high contrast yeah this is look nice i think we should change as a very high contrast yeah that's look great and uh, after that one more thing also i'm gonna tell you please always change this sequencer to the linear aces and linear aces cg you can choose any of two from here both look nice and both work very fine so now here you can see our scene is almost done now here i'm just gonna take one render but before doing the render guys make sure you can increase your samples but right now i'm just gonna show you only a demo so i'm just gonna keep it only 150 but i'm gonna tell you if you're doing a final render at least it should be 1000 yeah at least 1000 samples okay so let me render and let's see how's the final output i'm just gonna press the f12 for the render and all right guys here you can see our render is done and this is look stunning by the way so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna save this render so now here you can see guys this is the final output and this is look nice by the way so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any please let me in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys Thank you.